What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve a proportion that has three different fractions and two different variables, all right? So as you can see, we have x, x, and we also have y, okay? So the easiest way to solve this would be just to solve for one variable first. So in this case, let's just ignore y. Let's just ignore this fraction for now since it has a y. Let's just focus on these two fractions right here. So x over six is equal to x plus 10 over eight. And sorry, that should be an 18 actually. Okay, so to solve a proportion, all you need to do is cross multiply. So in order to do that, the first thing we're gonna do here is multiply our first cross, which would be x times 18. So let's just write that down, x times 18, or in other words, 18x, and we're gonna set that equal to our other cross, so six times x plus 10, right? Six times x plus 10. Now we can distribute this six into the set of parentheses. So six times x, that's equal to six x, and six times positive 10 is positive 60. And again, that's equal to 18 x. All right, so we're just trying to solve for x here. So let's move all the x's to one side. So here, let's subtract six x from both sides. Those cancel out, 18 minus six is 12. So here we get 12 x is equal to positive 60. So then here dividing both sides by 12, we get that x is equal to five. All right, cool. So we just found out what x is equal to. And now we can use one of these fractions and set it equal to this other fraction that we're still looking for, right? And in this case, let's use this fraction, x over six, since it looks like it's easier to work with than this one over here. So again, here, uh, we're gonna say that x over six is equal to this one over here, four x over y. But we know what x is equal to now, right? It's equal to five. So we can plug in a five right here. And we can also plug in a five right here, right? So four times five is equal to 20. So we know that this numerator is equal to 20. Okay, so again, to solve for y, we can simply cross multiply. So first five times y is equal to five y and that's gonna be equal to six times 20, which is 120. So to solve for y, we're gonna divide both sides by five. Let's cancel out. So here we get that y is equal to 24. Kobe. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.